keep it cleaning. clean it oh that was such a nice relaxing vacuum wasn't it back and forth getting up all those cruddies and crusties taking our time when we do it just to make sure some of those dusties that like to hold on to those naps it's no no give here baby coming up out of that carpet but you know i like to see what came out in this vacuum right here what's going on in here This how dirt be looking in a vacuum. Probably didn't even look like it had all that in there, but we know if there's a dog, there's a dog in the carpet, for sure. Uh, Let's go in. Oh, all right, that's enough. <laughs> Carpet cleaning OCD. Yes, indeed. I think we at New Clean, we're OCD when it comes to cleaning, period. Meaning, we have an obsessive compulsive disorder when it comes to cleaning. And I think every cleaner that really wants to do the best that they can. They have a sense of OCD. Come on, cleaners, y'all know what I'm talking about. I know there's some more OCD cleaners out there. I see y'all. When you see that little speck on the floor, and that little speck is really bothering you to the point where you're really feeling a way about it. Yeah. But that brings the best out, right? So you got two types. You got some cleaners that might say, hey, you're not going to be able to get everything out of the floor or out of the carpet or out of the rug, right? And who can kind of argue with that? That's kind of makes sense, right? Like it's it's kind of like, okay, no one's perfect. But some people beg to differ because when you have OCD cleaning, it's like, what? What you mean you can't get everything out the carpet? Who said that? And why would you say that? Probably because you don't have OCD. Which is a, probably a good thing because sometimes it can be very overwhelming because you beat up on yourself. 
You may not think that you did the best type of job, the best type of cleaning. You could have done better. Why couldn't that come out? What is that streak right there for? OCD. But guess what? There's a good thing about that. You know when an OCD cleaner comes in, you can sit back and relax and expect to have and see a new clean result. OCD cleaning. We gonna keep it that way. Hey cleaners, have you ever been out in the public in a store or a restaurant on your personal time and looked at the floor and you said, hey, I can make these floors look clean. They should let me clean it. And you do that a lot, right? On your personal time, couldn't that be obsessive? Compulsive. How long have you spent time trying to get a stain out that you knew wasn't going to get out? Long time, right? Compulsive. And finally, the disorder part is when you blame yourself for a stain that didn't come out. Or you say, hey, I could have did a better job on that. Did I do a good job? I don't think I did. I think it could have been a lot better. And everyone else says, hey, man, you did a great job. That's the disorder. What y'all think? <laughs>
Take care of your floors. Take your shoes off at the door. That's not mistreating your floors. And if your floors get too dirty, help your floors out by calling New Clean if you're in the Atlanta metro area. And those two concepts will make us a perfect world. No mistreatment and always be willing to help someone when you see that they need help. It's nothing worse than just ignoring someone when you know that they need help but turning that blind eye. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Peace. And keep it cleaning.